Hi, I'm Dr. Mark Pori, a sports chiropractor and sports nutritionist in Brooklyn, Ontario. In today's chat, I wanted to address an important piece of uh, the sports nutrition puzzle. That's uh, PDIs, or personal daily intake or allowance. Now, we all know that the average person has a recommended daily allowance. The RDA is based on uh, the vitamins and minerals the average person requires to stay alive. The performance daily intake is a guideline for healthy and active men and women. Uh, the, these PDIs should be obtained from food, and, whether, and where there is a shortage, they should be supplemented. Now, depending on your personal activity levels, these will vary from sport to sport and from individual to individual. Remember, I said the RDA, which most of us go by, is based on Health Canada's assessment of what is required to keep the average person healthy. Athletes, however, are not the average person. Their daily requirements, their daily energy requirements are far higher. Their activities result in tissues being broken down during training and competition, and quite often, these athletes are still growing. The process of muscle repair and building requires far higher amounts than the minimum daily. We have generally been told by a variety of, of experts that all the required vitamins and minerals are readily available in a good, healthy, daily diet. Now, this may be true where the source of food is unquestionably of the highest quality and no extra demands are placed on the body. But as I mentioned in a previous talk, the quality of food uh, varies from region to region. So you cannot be certain that you're, getting, that you're always getting what you think you are. Now, PDIs are ranges. Personal daily intake uh, requirements are ranges of each nutrition and will also vary depending on the size, the age, and the sex of the athlete. They also depend on the demands of the sport, the training, and competition. It's important that you are that if you are serious about getting the most out of your training, you must provide your body with the elements it is demanding. A less active in individual will probably target the lower range of the values that are, uh, that are seen in the charts, while more active and larger individuals will follow the upper intake recommendations. Now these are highly specific, so it's important to have a trained sports nutritionist evaluate the individual, their sport, and their current diet to determine which elements are needed and which ones are missing. Currently, there seems to be an attack on multivitamins, and probably justifiably so. The concern is that there are a great many nutrients in them that the average person does not require. Consequently, there is uh, little actual value in the multivitamins. The average person who buys multis realizes that their diet is deficient for their personal activities level, but, but they're not really certain how to approach those needs. This seems to be the best solution they can find. There is no question that their concerns are justified, uh, but the solutions are misdirected. So the experts are not saying that multivitamin suppl supplementation is a bad idea. They are merely stating that the prepackaged multivitamins on the shelves are missing the mark, and you're not really getting what is really needed. There is no magic formula. So here's a few of the examples of the differences between RDA levels and the levels needed by athletes in the PDI. So vitamin A, the recommended daily allowance, is 3,000 inter international units. The PDI is between 5,000 and 25,000 international units. Vitamin D, RDA, is 600 international units. The PDI is up to 1,000 international units. Vitamin E, Recommended daily allowance is 22.4 international units, and the PDI is 200 to 1,000 international units. Vitamin C, a very important vitamin. Uh, the RDA is 90 milligrams per day for an adult, and the PDI is actually between 800 and 3,000 milligrams. Calcium, uh, RDA is 1,000 milligrams, and the PDI is between 1,200 and 2,600 milligrams. And choline, another 
uh, another uh, recommended uh, uh, mineral, the RDA is uh, 1800 milligrams per day and the PDI is up to 3500 milligrams per day. So we know that athletes must uh, consume certain foods before and after exercise uh, for optimum performance. Each meal in the day will be different and meals must vary from day to day depending on the athlete's activity level. Carbohydrates, protein, fat, uh, and co cofactor pro proportions must match the metabolic needs all day long to achieve peak performance. This requires a knowledge about the unique demands that athletes place on their bodies. The athlete's body type, activity level, training, sport, and body composition all determine what customized fuel mix they need. Meal timing and nutrient composition are also very important. Listen, I hope this has been a little bit helpful uh, and that you will now go out and find a sports nutritionist in your area that can optimize your diet for your particular sport and your athlete. I'm Dr. Mark Poray. For more information about the services you can get at our clinic, uh, please see my website at www.drporay.com. Thanks very much for paying attention today.